What's up guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Now it's already been a very long day for me. Um, I've been working on the Silverado. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're switching gears now. We're gonna pick up on the 4Runner. Um, I came in the other day and actually already removed the valve cover from it. Got it all painted up. Um, now we just need to gasket it. Got the valve cover off and out of the way. Um, I do need to remove the PCV valve. Uh, it's broken off in there. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna get that out yet. But I'm going to go ahead and get this all cleaned up. Uh, we'll get that out and then get it prepped and we can get it painted. Got the old crusty PCV valve out. <laughs> this thing is rough. That is, that's the gasket too. That's supposed to be rubber. Uh, anyway, got that out. Don't have to worry about that now. Got to finish prep and then we get spraying. All right, she's as prepped as she's gonna get. I went ahead and hit it with some 320 uh, just by hand. Uh, would be really sweet if I had a sandblasting cabinet. Eventually we're gonna go ahead and get one of those. But now I just need to get some primer on it. We'll throw some base coat, get some clear on her. And here she is all dry, ready to go. I think it came out great. Now I know it's not like red or any other crazy color or anything. I just wanted it to be clean. Um, not too out of there because I have, I have decided that I am going to sell it. So I think it came out great. Um, I was going to do the lettering on here. I was going to do that in black. But it's going to be covered by all the emission stuff. And whoever buys it can do that later on if they want. Um, I do have the 22RE. I got a new badge for it, but I did leave it at home. So we are going to have to put that on at a later date. But got the gaskets over here. Um, I actually went up and or went and picked up a new PCV valve uh, from AutoZone. And then got a new grommet for it. So we're going to go ahead and just drop the grommet in there. Nice and snug. I went ahead and grabbed some Vaseline. I'm gonna go ahead and put it around the PCV valve. Try to make sure I'm not getting any on the tip, just around it, and then we can get it in. There we go. Bam. It's a lot easier than trying to go in dry. PCV valve's good, uh, ready to go. Now we can do the actual valve cover gasket itself. Basically just make sure you've got it facing the right way and then you're good to go. Valve cover gasket's in, good to go on there. Flip it over. Now we don't have to worry about these yet, but when we actually put it on the head, we'll make sure and put these little gaskets in. Um, these are gonna go on the studs coming out of the head and then we just bolt them down. Um, basically that and then the engine oil cap and this thing's ready to go. Now, thankfully this kit did come with this little gasket right here that's gonna drop into the head that goes right into the front, right by uh, the timing set uh, where the distributor comes in. That's gonna go in right there because uh, that's leaking pretty good on there as well. So we'll jump over to the 4Runner. So before we get to the valve adjustment or checking the valves at least, hopefully they don't need too much adjustment. Um, I wanted to show you these two gaskets right here that go in the head. Um, totally forgot that there's actually one that goes in the back as well. So these are the new ones. These are good, ready to go. And here's the old ones. This one's, yeah, it's just chunking apart right there. So yeah, that's, I'm gonna go ahead and say that's why that part was leaking. So I've got all the emission stuff up out of the way. So we have a decent working area. Um, what I did was I already got it to top dead center on number one. So right here, if you have a distributor cap, it makes it real easy because there's one, three, four, and two right there. So just set it up right there. 
line the holes up and we are one. Um, also, there is timing marks now that you can't really see right now, but you're going to want to take a flashlight and make sure your timing marks are lined up. To turn it over, you're going to want a 19 millimeter socket. Um, I did have to remove uh, the skid plate so that I could get up under there. I know it's super dark, you guys. Oh, there we go. We can kind of see. Uh, but yeah, just get it on the underdrive pulley and then just crank it over. Once you know your TDC on number one, you can go ahead and take your feeler gauges because that's what you're going to need. Um, you're going to need uh, eight thousandths for intake. Uh, eight thousandths is 0.2 millimeters and then you're going to need 12 thousandths for exhaust which is 0.3 millimeters. Once you have it on one, you can go ahead and adjust the exhaust side and intake on cylinder number one. You can do the intake side on number two and then the exhaust side on number three. So you can adjust all four of those uh, while you're on one. Due to lack of space in the engine bay, we're just going to focus on the number one cylinder exhaust side right now. Uh, what you're going to want to do is take your 12 thousandths feeler gauge, slide that bad boy under there. Oh, okay. So as you guys can see, there's a little bit too much play. There's not enough grab. So what you're going to do is take your 12 millimeter, crack that bad boy open. I'm going to take a flat head, turn it just a bit, lock it in. That's still not enough. Cracker back open. Turn it a little bit more. That might be a little too much. Tighten it. Actually, that's still not enough. All right, round three, here we go. Crack it back open. All right, so that's too tight. As you guys can see, it takes a few times. Get my forearm out of the way. Back her out a little bit. And there we go, perfect. So just enough drag. It's not super hard. There's no play while it's in there. And it just pulls right out. Exhaust side's good to go on number one. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest off camera, but like I said before, uh, when you're top dead center on cylinder number one, you can do uh, exhaust and intake side on one. Uh, you can do intake side on two and exhaust side on three. Uh, and then what you're gonna wanna do is turn it over, get it to where it's top dead center on number four, which it'll be facing down here. Let's see if we can get this up. Yeah, there's number four right there. It'll be facing down here, which will allow you to do both uh, intake and exhaust on number four. And then you can move down to do an intake on number three, and then you can finish off with exhaust on two. And then you'll be good to go. Uh, like I said, you're gonna want uh, eight thousandths, which is 0.2 millimeter on intake, and then you're gonna want 12 thousandths, which is 0.3 millimeter on your exhaust. So I did forget to mention that it is best to get it up to operating temperature before you do the valve adjustment. So just get it up to temp, pull the valve cover, and then you can do your adjustments. Um, obviously, we did not have that luxury. I already had the valve cover off, so I figured might as well check them while we're here. Uh, everything is looking good. Uh, this is the only one that really seemed out of adjustment. Um, I'm going to go back through, double check, and then uh, get the valve cover on. That way I can get this thing out of here, get it to a pressure washer, and we can clean up this nasty engine bay. Uh, and then I've got a whole bunch of tune-up stuff. I'm looking at it right now. There's just a shelf full of parts for this thing. Um, I'll go over that later. But right now, let's go ahead and just get the valve cover on, and we can go from there. Bam, she's on. Now all I need to do is tighten these the rest of the way down. Then we get all the emissions crap on. Um, I did paint this bracket 
I think came out pretty good. Um, it goes in this general vicinity right here. And then all the emissions crap goes on top of it. So valve covers on, <laughs> it looks so good in there. Like just all this garbage and then just awesome. Uh, hopefully we'll fix that here pretty soon. So what I'm gonna do is get this tightened up um, then we can get it to a pressure washer. I'll clean up the engine bay. And then, like I said, we can go, uh, go ahead and start doing all the, uh, tuning up. And then I've got some upgrades for it that I'm going to throw on here. Um, I do think I am probably going to put the clutch in first. I'm not quite sure yet because the clutch is acting up in this thing. Uh, it's like you have to push it through the floor. Um, I might try an adjustment on the actual clutch lever itself or the clutch pedal. So, I don't know. I'm probably just gonna put the clutch in because the rear main seal uh, is leaking really bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that while we're in there. So I think I'm gonna do that first so we can just make sure make sure nothing's leaking and then we can move on to the other things. Cause I wanna make sure all the gaskets and everything are good to go. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're gonna call that good on this video. Um, if you guys have any questions, always comment below. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great night.